Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project Courier Memory System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. And the version for the PHP I'm using is the PHP version 7 and the MySQL version is 5.6. I'm using the Jam server for running this project. Also, now if you have the web server, then you can also configure and run this project on the web server too. If you are using Linux operating system, then you can configure this project on the uh, lamp stack and the for Mac, you can configure on the map stack, right? So this is the server side technologies I have used for developing this project. For front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like formal editions, creating sliders, integration of Reddit, calendar plugins, I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So these technology stacks I have used for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is Courier Management System and it's a major uh, DBMS, PHP and MySQL project. It has admin as well as customer login. Customer can register and book their couriers also, right? So let's <coughs> start. So this is the homepage of the project. You can see this is the homepage. This is the about of the project. It's a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. If you want to change the content, just open the app.php and you can change the content there in that file. This is a registration. If you are a new customer, then rest customer can register from this page. And after registration, he will be able to log in. Once you log in, then he will be able to add his courier and those courier will be visible to the admin, right? So this is the uh, registration page. This is a login page. This is a role based system. So the same login page will be used for admin and customer both. If you log in as admin, then internal functionality will come for the admin. If you log in as customer, then internal functionality will come for the customer because it's a session driven role based system. This is a contact us page. This is a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this anywhere, right? So this is a totally static form. Now I'm going to log in as an admin first. So the user ID is admin and the password is test. Once you log inside the system, you will get the dashboard. So this is the dashboard, right? So let me go through one by one, right? So this is the home I already explained to you about us. This is the dashboard, right? Here is this is the ad administration. This is ad courier. From here, admin will be able to add the couriers. You can see this is the forms. Here you need to enter the sender details, receiver details, cost and descriptions, right? Details. So this all once you fill all of the forms, then those forms and details will be saved inside the courier, and you will be able to see the details here, right? So you can see these data details right if you want to edit it just click on the edit and you will be able to edit the details from here right this is the courier report again and this is a tracking number once you click on the traffic tracking number you will be able to see the all of the trackings you can edit as well as you can update the details here right you can delete it also if you want to search the tracking then you can search the tracking from here also right now the question is how we can add the tracking there is a add tracking here here you need to add the tracking number, means the courier ID and the date and descriptions. Once you <coughs> add the tracking details, then those tracking will be listed out here inside the courier. Right? You can see now I am click on the 716. There are two line items, right? Now I am going to add one tracking details here in 716. 716 date here and delivered. Right. And once I click on the save tracking, then you can see this is the delivered. Now I'm going on the report part. And once you click on the one six, then you can see it's a delivered, right? Okay. So this is the report already explained you and the logout. Once you log out, then above administration menu will not be displayed. So let me show you. So you can see ad above administration menu is not displaying. Once you log in, <coughs> right? So now I am going to log in as a customer. So customer user ID, customer and password is test. Here you can see add courier, add courier from here. You can add the courier details. You will not be able to add the cost details because cash cost details will be added by admin, right? This is add courier. This is my courier. So all of the couriers which you have added will be displayed here. So there are two couriers which belongs to your ID. That's why it's showing this, right? So <coughs> once you click on the ID, then you will be able to see the details of that tracking right in the micro session you can see the menus are also different in administration there was administration as a report now in uh, customer you can see uh, add courier and the micro right 
once you log out then those menu also will not be displayed right so these functionalities uh, i have developed inside this project courier manual system with admin and the customer both login right if you need more functionality in this way just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much